Song, are you really Song Jinwu? Jinwu appeared looking extremely handsome and asked what was wrong. Jin Ha just came forward and said, I didn't expect people could change so much. Jin Wu only replied that he was going to meet his sister's teacher. Did she want him to wear a tracksuit and a thong? Jin Ha was disgusted, but all the students, both male and female, were captivated by Jin Wu's handsome, handsome beauty. The female students who saw Jin Wu passing by all actively greeted them, and he shyly responded to them. Jin Ha saw her brother being welcomed like that and immediately quipped. She also asked him if he had a girlfriend or not, and what did he do last night that he came home so late? Let me introduce a cute student. Jin Wu pinched Jin Ha's cheeks and shouted, Don't tease me. In the consulting room, Jin Ha's homeroom teacher saw him walk in and immediately asked, Are you student Jin Ha's brother? Pleased to meet you. She is Jin Ha's homeroom teacher. She didn't know that Jin Ha had such a handsome brother. Please sit down. Jin Wu looked at the teacher and thought, Even though I graduated from school, this is the first time I see this teacher. The teacher started chatting with Jin Wu about Jin Ha's studying situation, told him not to worry because she was a kind child, she was an exemplary student so the teacher didn't have to worry much. She asked Jin Wu if he knew Jin Ha wanted to go to medical university. Her grades are quite good and her thesis is also good, so I think Jin Ha can do it but don't put too much pressure on her. Jin Wu expressed to the teacher that he'd understood the situation. She lightly looked at the cup of coffee and said, I heard that you are a hunter. If Jin Ha awakens her ability as a hunter, will you agree to let her do that job? Jin Wu was a bit surprised after hearing this, but then his eyes firmly answered the teacher, definitely not. After hearing the answer, she also relaxed because the reason she asked this was because recently there was a student who wanted to drop out of school after awakening his power. Now that student is no longer going to school, if this continues, the school has no choice but to take strong measures. Even if you become a hunter, don't you still need to get a diploma? Jin Wu asked the teacher about the student's rank, and she replied that it seemed to be the lowest rank. Hearing about E rank, Jin Wu immediately became nervous. E rank. Sooner or later that student will die. The teacher wanted to ask Jin Wu something because that student was Jin Ha's friend. Can I talk to her so she can at least try to graduate from high school? Jin was a bit surprised when the teacher said that the student's name was Han Song I afternoon at school. Song I asked Jin Wu, why did you appear here? Jin Wu didn't answer, just said, now children are also given hunter licenses. Song I replied that if minors awakened their powers, there would be no law prohibiting them from going to dungeons. Jin Wu asked if she had experience going to dungeons. He guessed she must be E rank. She asked Jin Wu, is the hunter her, her teacher introduced him. Jin Wu took out his phone and asked, are you this girl's friend? She suddenly said that wasn't Jin Ha. Could it be that you are his older brother? I went to the hospital to visit you once. If you are Jin Ha's brother, I understand why you know my teacher. Jin Wu expressed that he and the teacher were not exactly acquaintances. Song I expressed that she didn't care what her teacher said, but she had no intention of going back to school. She also did not intend to give up the hunter. Jin Wu asked if she was an E rank. Normal attacks were ineffective against monsters. She needed a weapon forged with magic, but if she bought a weapon, it would quickly break. And buying new weapons isn't very profitable, right? Or do you intend to fight with your bare hands? Don't tell me you're dreaming about becoming a professional hunter just because you earned some money from the last dungeon with us. Hearing that, she immediately responded harshly by telling Jin Wu that he was just an E ranker, so he shouldn't preach too much. Jin Wu looked at the girl and admired, she's quite persistent, just like me before. He gently told her not to worry because he had no intention of convincing her to quit being a hunter because Jin Wu understood that it is difficult to accept the truth until you have to face the cold world and cruel with his own eyes. Hearing that, Song I was a bit surprised and asked, So why are you here? Jin Wu said it was to make her a great hunter. At this time, the name Wang Dong, Su has arrived in Korea. The surveillance inspector also came to observe his behavior. Dong, Su asked what happened that Wu Jin Shul of the Korean's hunter guild was here, he replied. It's natural because when a hunter from the supervision department came to welcome and supervise S-rank workers coming to Korea, with an evil look on his face, he approached Jin Shul. Supervisory Department. 
Aren't you still working for that old president, Go Gun He? If it were me, I would have broken his left arm, ensuring that he cannot do anything without his right arm and in control of everything. Jin Shul didn't care about those words and just asked how long do you plan on staying? He said he didn't intend to stay here for long. He would return as soon as he finished work, so don't worry. Jin Shul replied, is the matter of the person who left his hometown to settle in America accidentally related to E-rank hunter Sam Jin Wu and D-rank Yu Jin Ho? He praised Jin Chou. As expected, he was a member of the supervision department, asking others about something he already knew very well. Will you stop me? Do you intend to stop me? His expression was extremely evil. But Jin Chou calmly replied, I'm just devoted to my work. Two young men accidentally passed by the two of them and immediately felt it was difficult to breathe. Their chest was extremely heavy. The name Wang Dong Su here seemed friendly and patted Inspector Wu's shoulder. In addition, he also invited him to join their scavenger guild. The inspector here remained silent and did not answer, thinking in his heart, S. Rank Hunter Wang Dong Su, his brother Wang Dong Suk, has been suspected in many cases of murdering hunters like a god of death. The only reason the investigation couldn't begin was his younger brother's name. They are truly blood brothers, but their insensitivity to the point of abhorrent murders makes them look like a bunch of trash. At a certain gate near the White Tiger Guild, Jin Wu saw him I go to the dungeon. Jin Wu greeted the manager and his assistant. The manager happily replied that I was the second branch manager on Sang Min, and the assistant's name was Han Ji Chul. The assistant also came from the branch number two. Suddenly, he saw that it was the student from before. Song I also gently greeted them back. The manager secretly thought that E rank wouldn't be of any help. If not, there will also be cases like Sam Jin Wu's worker. We shouldn't rush to conclusions like that. Manager told Jin Wu, I was surprised to receive a call from mechanic Sam Jin Wu saying he wanted to experience a practice dungeon for newly recruited guild members. Because it was a request from fig hunter Jin Wu, I accepted without hesitation. I had already explained it to the other hunters so there was no need to worry. This is an area where many gates appear, so not many people live here. 80% of the people here have left. They said that this area is about to completely shut down. The Sea Raid Gate, perfect for practice, has just opened in this area for more than 9 hours. A man came up and happily said, Stop chatting and let's get started. We're not here for a picnic. Jin Wu didn't look familiar so he asked the manager to explain that he was an air rank we had just recruited but he seemed offended. After hearing that I accepted your request and said that the dungeon was not a fun escape, he is Kim Chul and as you can see he is a tank. This attack force consists of an A rank 7B rank and a 4C rank. A total of 12 people seemed a bit unnecessary when a rank and B rank joined a C rank gate but they were all new members. First they need to have some dungeon experience. Jin Wu replied, but bringing in a rank and 7B ranks is a bit much. Jin Wu outwardly said that, but in reality, if going to a dungeon for the first time is that easy, I'm afraid it won't have any effect. No, rather, she might realize the difference between herself and other hunters. Realize how helpless e rank hunters are in dungeons. Innocent girl asked Jin Wu, when are we going in? The assistant standing next to him said that because this dungeon visit was too easy with worker Sam Jin Wu participating, you should just stand outside and watch. Everyone here is excited as they prepare to enter the dungeon. But after they entered, things were completely different. Jin Wu had a strange feeling when he arrived at this place and the manager and assistant were panicking. They absolutely couldn't believe their eyes because this was a red gate. Jin Wu panicked before being completely sucked into the gate and immediately informed the manager to bring the main force here immediately. The manager's hands and feet were shaking awkwardly. This wasn't a problem that could be handled by just calling the main force. I was forced to call the guild master directly. Here, S rank White Tiger guild leader Bak Yun Ho received news of a red gate and was extremely urgent. If it was a red gate, then he had to go there himself and see. In the car, the name Wang Dong Su praised the inspector's car as quite good, but it was still not good enough to transport S rank hunters. He could walk faster like this. He continued to ask about the situation of his brother's funeral. The driver replied, We can't bring the body back, and the funeral will be held quietly. Do you want to visit the grave? He replied that he was not interested in dead people. He was only interested in the things his brother was doing. 
The inspector asked him where he wanted to go. Wang Dong Su said the answer was obvious in a dungeon. I'll find that guy in a dungeon. Vile hunters are easy to find in dungeons. The manager asked again how he planned to find them when there were countless gates in Korea. He confidently said that in the 4.0 era, there's no need to worry about those things. E. Ray Hunter Sun Jin Mu looked like he had just entered a dungeon. The rules inside the dungeon and outside this world are completely different, you know that well. Wang Dong Su's expression was now filled with murderous intent. Even if I bury them alive, it's none of your business, Wu Jin Shou. Inside the Red Gate is a snowy forest. Everyone inside seems very confused, but it doesn't seem like a dungeon at all. The gate suddenly disappeared. Jin Wu here doesn't seem to feel anything suspicious at all. The portal that brings us to this world. Han Song, I told Jin Wu is something interesting happening to us. Suddenly, out of nowhere, an arrow was about to hit Song when Jin Wu started reaching out to block the attack for her. An ice arrow hit another man's face, causing him to scream miserably. There is an ambush in the tree. It's them ice goblins. The ice goblins were at such a distance, but Jin Wu couldn't feel anything. Those who have never met them call them ice goblins, but those who have faced them on the battlefield call them by a completely different name. Unlike the beautiful words often used to describe goblins, this name was given due to the way they hunted hunters, Hayaki. The white tiger president outside looked at the situation. The gate was tightly closed. This is trouble, isn't it a sea ray gate? President Bok asked if he had warned the Korean Hunter Association yet. He said he called but it seemed they played dumb and insisted this was a sea ray gate. The president is angry. He thinks red gates only appear in higher ranked gates. They're saying the magical energy coming from a different world beyond this gate is just a C rank. There must have been an error. The gate in front of me is at least B rank. It might be a rank or higher if we're unlucky. The manager said, should we measure the gate with our own magical energy sensor? The president expressed that it was useless because energy had been continuously pouring out of the gate since it turned red, so it was useless. With the current situation, it is impossible to determine its rank. He asked how many people were inside. The manager immediately reported 12. He continued asking, How many people have high ranks? The manager said an air rank Kim Chul was assigned as captain and seven B rank hunters. The manager is worried about the new members. Baik here is worried. This gate is definitely B rank or a rank. If we exclude the case that it is an S rank gate, enough to put the entire country in a state of emergency. B rank gates require at least three a rank hunters. But if it isn't a rank gate, it needs at least an S rank or 10 a rank. Therefore, if this gate is a rank, it is considered that everyone who has just entered will not be able to return. If we're lucky, only two or three B rank hunters will survive. The manager then panicked and confessed that there were two people in that group who were not members of our guild. When the president heard this, he urgently asked who they were. The manager replied to a hunter I've been eyeing recently. A hunter the manager has been eyeing. The president's expression was now serious. What is his rank? A or B? After hearing this, he shook his head. The president continued asking. Could he be an S rank hunter? The manager also shook his head. He was an E rank hunter. Jin Wu stood inside observing the situation of the goblins. Their eyes were very sharp. If this was two months ago, the arrow would have been aimed towards me. Speaking of this, Jin Wu was extremely excited. He immediately crushed the ice arrow from earlier. I will kill you myself, the captain said. I don't think they will be happy to welcome us. I'm not sure how many people understand the urgency of the situation, but we are in a red zone. We cannot return unless we die or complete this dungeon. Everyone who heard this news began to panic and panic. Jin Wu explains that it is a special gate that connects another world. Once we step into it, the gate will completely close and no one can come to help us. We cannot escape unless we kill the boss or the dungeon opens itself. In other words, we are isolated. The captain introduced himself to everyone once again. His name was Kim Chul, a rank hunter. We now know this is the red gate. I will accept responsibility for your survival. I will not predict or guarantee that everyone will return alive. We will have to wait a long time for the dungeon to open its gates and we cannot guarantee that you will survive until then. The lowest red gate is also at level B, in a dangerous place like this. It will be difficult to maintain such a large number of people. 
That's why I'll make a separate squad to handle this dungeon with me. Jin Wu was a bit shocked after hearing this. What? The captain here revealed his true nature, he said. If we stay here, we will die from the cold or be ambushed. Even if no one comes with us, I will handle it myself. So whoever wants to join me, let's go together. He continuously recruited powerful warriors for himself. Everyone saw that and scrambled to follow because they understood that they would have a better chance of survival if they stuck with an A-level hunter like him. There was a candidate but he pushed him out because he was too weak. He rejects hunters of C rank or lower. One day at the Red Gate is just one hour outside. In the worst case scenario, it would take many months for them to complete the dungeon or the portal to be opened. That's why he couldn't carry any burden. After hearing these words, everyone was surprised at that selfishness. But to avoid awkwardness, he said they still had a chance to get out if he finished dealing with the boss. A girl from the captain's team felt dissatisfied, so she wanted to switch sides. When he heard someone wanted to move, he didn't stop them. That girl approached Jin Wu and warned, Kim Chol, that guy didn't pay attention to those arrows. You're not A rank, right? Outside, the manager told his president, in order to gain trust from some Jin Wu, he hid his identity. He was certain that he was the one who had reawakened. After listening, the president was surprised and asked again, Are you sure? It's not just speculation. Hearing this, the manager couldn't say anything. The president turned to look towards the red gate. Then I can only put my trust in Kim Chul. Suddenly a voice came from far away. Kim Chul has no problem at all. Turns out to be chief of the first department of management, Ju Sung Chan. He continued, Hunter Kim Chul's training results are very impressive. He won't fall behind the current White Tiger Guild's main attack force members in a contest of strength. After hearing these words, President Bok's expression seemed to have softened a lot. The branch manager added, From the rumors I heard, is it possible that an E rank has reawakened? That's what you said, right? Our Kim Chul is much more trustworthy than that rumored hunter. The manager's face looked disgusted at the other guy's boasting. To see who is right when everyone returns. Then a luxury car came here again. The voice named Wang Dong Su echoed from inside the car. I've definitely heard that it's a C level gate. Why has it turned into an A level gate now? Why is the respected president Bako here? Seeing Wang Dong Su, the captain was a bit surprised and asked why he came to Korea. He didn't hide his purpose, but frankly said he came by for a few stories but didn't expect to see them here. Bak was angry, then he enhanced his strength and only asked one question. A guy who was supposed to be in America came to Korea to do a story on the territory of the White Tiger. After listening, he asked Bak again, Has that vile guy in the White Tiger territory joined the White Tiger Association? What were you thinking, recruiting him like that? I'm talking about the E-Rank guy. President Bot kept asking, E-Rank, who are you talking about? He replied to some Jin Wu who had just entered that gate. Jin Wu inside interrogated the other girl. How come you guys are so calm compared to a rookie? She replied softly, the first thing we learned was that anything can happen inside a dungeon. Especially Kim Chul hunters have received special training. He was arranged to join the White Tiger's regular force. After they arranged their formation, they split up. Jin Wu's group went into the forest. The other group went in the opposite direction. Kim Chul's group of people walked and laughed at Jin Wu's team for being ignorant. He pointed to the scratch mark on the tree. The soldier next to him said, They should wait patiently here. The forest is the domain of snow bears just because of the inexperience of an E rank guy. All those innocent people will die miserably. Do you think that E rank guy got some training? The captain replied, no way, it's just an E rank. He suddenly realized something. That group had a C rank and a B rank, but he had the feeling that Jin Wu was the leader there. Never mind. They will die soon. Then he stood and raised the hammer and said, From now on, we will prepare ourselves for battle. Outside, Wang Dong Su was still standing there waiting for Jin Wu. He exclaimed, Did I come all this way to see that guy stuck in the red gate? It must be hard to look past that some Jin Wu's face now. Inside the red dungeon, Captain Kim Chol's team is fighting extremely large snow bears. Everyone was surprised that he had defeated all the ice bears with just one man. Really trustworthy. One person in the group was still shouting for bear meat and not organs. From now on, we wouldn't have to worry about food anymore. But they don't know that their tragedy will really begin soon. 
Kim Chul shouted at everyone to stop being ridiculous. They can't rest until we get through this forest. In his heart, Kim Chul thought, they were able to deal with them thanks to me. At this point, the other group must have become a meal for the bears. Inside the forest at Jin Wu's group location, the girl from before considered that they shouldn't go any further. Jin Wu was a bit confused. The other girl pointed at the snow bear's scratches, indicating that this is their territory. Therefore, the deeper you go into the ice bear's territory, the more dangerous it becomes. They must return before they arrive. Jin Wu immediately asked again. So you said this area is full of ice bears. The girl also calmly confirmed that. So they 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 should come back. Jin Wu explained that was also the reason they moved in the forest. The girl didn't understand so she still tried to stop him. Jin Wu explained, if this is the ice bears territory, then we only need to worry about them. Ice bears are more pleasant than ice elves. At this moment, the girl realized, if this is the ice bears area, then there will be no stronger predators here. So we won't encounter any stronger monsters. Why didn't he think of it? Jin Wu saw that the girl was wearing a bit of clothing, so he opened the store to buy warm clothes for everyone. He told everyone to put it on because it would be embarrassing if you died from the cold before meeting any monsters. Everyone who saw it was surprised. Space magic. Doesn't space magic only summon one or two objects? To summon so many you can only. Speaking of this, Han Song, I immediately asked, Who are you really? Jin Wu warmly stroked her head and said, Since I brought you here, it is my responsibility to keep you safe. The words that came out immediately made Han Song, I a little embarrassed and his face turned red. However, don't ask me anything, it also applies to all of you. Don't ask me questions and don't demand anything from me. Jin Wu was chatting with everyone when suddenly a snow bear came in from afar. The ferocious wild animal was moving towards the group of people. Everyone panicked. A guy shouted, What is the only worry about the ice bear? It is a high-level monster. The girl from before urgently shouted, Going into the forest was definitely a wrong decision. I will distract it and go in there. She was about to approach the bear when Jin Wu suddenly stopped him and said, I will be the one to hunt these monsters. Everyone who heard it couldn't believe it. But Jin Wu remains calm. He started changing the badge of Overcomer of Adversity to Wolf Slayer to increase damage to animals by 40%. The snow bear aggressively approached and delivered a powerful blow, but Jin Wu quickly dodged it. From above, Jin Wu used his fist to hit the top of the bear's head, causing the bear to lose consciousness. Outside, Wang Dong Su was being questioned by President Bach, but he had no intention of answering that question. The president tried his best to chase Wang away. No matter what his purpose is, this is a red gate so we can't do anything else. Through that gate is not a dungeon. It could be a desert with temperatures up to 60 degrees. A forest full of poisonous snakes and insects or a white snowy area has the ability to freeze us to death. They have a higher chance of dying than coming back alive. After hearing these words, Wang Dong Su seemed a bit depressed. The president whispered, praying that luck would come to Jin Wu. But little did he know that inside they were happily holding a barbecue. Han Song, I happily told Jin Ha's story at school to Jin Wu, constantly praising her for being a good student. But Jin Wu told her that she only stayed at home to play around and go to sleep and especially liked to eat fried chicken. Again, Han Song, I heard this and still couldn't believe it. Jin Wu also admitted that even he didn't believe it but it was the truth. Everyone was chatting happily when suddenly Jin Wu stood up and left. The girl was concerned and asked Jin Wu where he was going. He only replied that he was going to exercise to ease his digestion. If you don't practice, you will be punished. After warming up his body, he felt a bit bored, so Jin Wu decided to continue hunting bears. Jin Wu stood in front of the bears, examined the situation, then began to summon the dark army to deal with them. The battle between the Shadow Warriors and the Ice Bears took place very fiercely. An immortal warrior, the bears have no way to defeat them. A high-ranking witch using fire could instantly defeat several bears. Jin Wu stood aside and exclaimed, It seems the power of the Dark Warrior is stronger than he imagined. This unbelievable regeneration is almost comparable to immortality. It does consume massive amount of mana though. Finally, after a while of fighting, the leader bear also appeared. Very powerful scream. The shadow soldiers were blown away almost instantly. 
The difference is too much. Jin Wu's mana is also depleted. Jin Wu ordered Igris to fight. Every blow of the Dark Knight is a fatal blow. The bear screamed in pain, but it seemed like it was not about to give up and still charged. In the end, Igris cut off its head with one final shot. Jin Wu silently thought, if when fighting with Igris it uses a sword, it will be considered that he is lost. Jin Wu placed his hand on the bear's body and stood up. The shadow of that bear immediately awakened a legion full of bears that were absorbed into Jin Wu's dark army. Outside, President Bach is asking how many hours have passed. The staff said that three hours or three days had passed inside the dungeon. I don't know how many survivors are left. The guild master said not to expect any normal environment in the Red Gate. Skin burning under the harsh sunlight, being pestered endlessly by toxic bugs, or skin rotting due to the severe cold. As such, the weak will die off first. Oh God, even if they adapt to the environment, they must secure the next food. They could attempt to feed off the monster's corpses, but the gate is too high level for low-tier hunters. See rank or lower hunters must all be dead by now. Wang Dong Su heard that, and said, Then some Jin Wu must also be dead. Did I just end up wasting my time in vain? He was about to leave when he remembered something. You're saying that some Jin Wu isn't part of the White Tiger Guild. Then how did he end in there? Manager replied, He's my old acquaintance. He asked if he could take part in a seat rank raid and I reluctantly introduced him here. Chief An Sang Min is covering for Hunter Song Jin Wu. Does that mean exposing him is that problematic? Not to mention that S rank Wang Dong Su from overseas also knows about this E rank's existence. Wang Dong Su was angry and went to strangle the manager. He said, For a long time, I've been talented in finding interesting situations, and I can feel something fishy here. He was about to ask the manager to tell the truth, but was stopped by President Bach because he was his person. The competition radiates terrifying power. The battle between the two S ranks is about to appear. Inside the dungeon, Kim Chul was struggling to attack the snow giants. The number is really too large. Team members were exhausted and some were even killed. A pitiful scream rang out. He still couldn't believe that one day he would be defeated and defeated like that. Unacceptable if there is food. Is the lack of food his fault? Suddenly Hayaki came and an army attacked their group. Everyone was panicking. The screams became more and more distant. One of their group was killed. Kim Chul couldn't bear it anymore and tried to run away to the forest. Inside the forest, the captain was running away from the goblins' pursuit. He constantly blamed the cold and starvation for many days on the situation. If things like that hadn't happened, he wouldn't have been defeated. Then another scene surprised him when all the bears were killed. He'd always wondered why he didn't see any bears in the forest. But now, Kim Chul still doesn't believe that this was done by Jin Wu's group, because they are all low-ranked probably because of the Hayaki. Outside, two S-rank hunters were continuously emitting murderous intent towards the opponent. The atmosphere at this time was extremely stuffy, making the two branch managers afraid. The two attacks collided with each other, causing everything around them to explode. But suddenly Inspector Wu arrived to stop this battle. Wang Dong Su praised the inspector's actions, but he said that if they hadn't reduced the power in time, his hand would have been broken. He admitted that he was the first person to suspect that Jin Wu had received a double awakening. However, after testing him with an advanced magic power detector about two months ago, he was still E rank. Unfortunately, Hunter Wang Dong Suk passed away, but Song Jin Wu never had enough ability to take down that entire group of humans. Dong Su smiled and said, I know, if there was someone setting a trap, it would only be the Yu Jin architects. The inspector heard that and immediately replied, then there is no reason to obsess over worker some Jin Wu anymore. At this time, he also said frankly, this is just an excuse for himself to kill people. After that, he left because he lost interest. When leaving, didn't you forget to yell at the managers because it was the first time you saw S rank fighting? Manager On didn't answer him but thought to himself that he knew some Jin Wu's abilities so he would definitely come back alive. Back inside the Red Dungeon, after escaping the forest, the captain saw Jin Wu's group camping and eating well, making him unable to believe his eyes. Warm clothes, tents, daily necessities, and even food. If only his hands weren't frozen. No, if he could eat enough, he could easily defeat Hayaki. Kim Chul couldn't stand it anymore and shouted, 
You bastards, you bastards. My team was defeated due to lack of food and supplies. But why do you guys have everything like this? Seeing everyone silent, he continued to shout. Why don't you say anything? Has the mouth been sawn shut? I don't think you all colluded who is hiding all the food. We'll let this go if that guy confesses. He kept cursing, making He Jin angry. She tried to reason with him, but was stopped by Han Saw. Aye. He counted to two and still no one accepted him. He remembered He Jin volunteering to leave his group because she knew something hidden. She left the group because she was not confident in his ability to survive on his own and tried to minimize mouths to feed to ensure food. The main culprit is you, Park He Jin. Thinking about it, he counted to three, but a hand from behind hit him in the head when he counted to four. It turned out that it was Jin Wu. The attack was so powerful that it caused an A-tier tank like him to face down on the ground and fly several meters away. Jin Wu looked at him, looking back, who was really the one who left his teammates to die. Not to mention it also dragged the tail behind everyone who heard this and immediately realized something. Jin Wu turned back to the forest and said loudly, What are you waiting for? If you haven't broken the invisibility spell yet, with such great power, being invisible is useless. The power that makes my hair stand on end is the boss. Everyone shouts loudly about ourselves. Why are there so many of them? There must be more than two people. The leader Hayaki said that there is only one useful person among the trash. Hearing that, Jin Wu was so angry that his blood boiled and asked that Hayaki again, making him surprised because Jin Wu could understand his language. Jin Wu here was also surprised when he could talk to them. He Jin here was equally surprised. The leader wanted to introduce someone to Jin Wu. Perhaps the two of them already knew each other. Jin Wu remembered that it was the guy who attacked him a few days ago. The monster said he was the one who informed them that there was a very strong person among the humans. He wants to duel with you. So before he could finish his words, Jin Wu cut off the monster's head, surprising everyone. Jin Wu's face coldly asked him, Is there anything else you want to say? The monster was silent for a moment then laughed with a sinister look on his face. You are a very interesting person. Ha! Huh? The two sides rushed at each other with two daggers to mark the opening of the match. Jin Wu thought this guy wasn't weak at all. The monster slowly walked towards Jin Wu and said, I have a proposal, but he has a question for Jin Wu. Why are you not human, but are with humans? Jin Wu over here didn't understand what he was saying, making the monster laugh loudly. He said, in my head, there is always a voice telling them to kill humans. But when he looked at Jin Wu, he didn't hear that voice at all. After listening, Jin Wu began to think, a voice told them to kill humans. It's a bit similar to the command the system gives me. If that voice doesn't apply to me, it's probably because I became a player thanks to the system. The monster said that there was no need for the two sides to fight. They also want to avoid unnecessary casualties. So hand over the person behind Jin Wu and he will spare your life. Jin Wu said with a cold face that he only had one question. Who are they really? Where do you come from and why do you want to kill humans? He was about to speak but it seemed like he was stopped by some force like a machine. He said the same words he had just said. A series of absurd events leaves Jin Wu a bit confused. Is he avoiding more? The monster asked Jin Wu if such conditions were okay. But you refused, causing him to start getting serious. He stood in front of his army and said, How do you intend to confront me and the warriors under my command? Do you think you alone can defeat such a large army? Jin Wu immediately asked him, Is the army large? Who is crowded? Everyone behind saw this scene and everyone was scared. Hey monster. Monsters suddenly appear here. He Jin observed that they were black warriors and black ice bears. A guy standing in front of a warrior made him scared and thought, There is no way this is an army summoned by Sam Jin Wu. Hayaki said that this was a cheap trick. Then the two sides got into a fierce fight. As the battle raged, he Jin began to lead everyone to evacuate. Jin Wu thought about what that monster had just said. He realized that although his army was large, he could not maintain this army for long. They may be immortal, but their numbers will gradually decrease if they are continuously destroyed. Since Jin Wu himself had leveled them up, it should be enough to handle the ice goblins. But that guy was the biggest problem. Even if Jin Wu and Igris teamed up, they wouldn't necessarily be able to defeat him. Regular phantom warriors are also useless. 
Jin Wu needs a stronger ghost. Suddenly, he looked over at Kim Chul's name. The monster called himself Baruka. Jin Wu also responded. Sung Jin Wu. He stepped forward to attack the other Hayaki. Not forgetting, he deliberately kicked the sword towards Kim Chul. Two strong people are attacking each other extremely fiercely. It's been a long time since he felt this excited, and then out of nowhere Jin Wu summoned a magician ghost that shot a large flame towards the Hayaki. Thanks to that, I bought more time for Jin Wu. The captain suddenly woke up. He remembered Jin Wu's actions earlier, so he got angry. He then picked up the sword to kill Jin Wu, but it was all part of his plan. Jin Wu here said, there is no way they can die like that. So come out quickly and don't waste time. The crazy Hayaki approached, but there was an even crazier guy right behind Jin Wu. Just as he predicted, he would sneak attack him. Jin Wu summoned Igris and defeated Kim Chul in one blow. This series of actions surprised the goblin, but it didn't change anything. After defeating Kim Chul, the goblin continued to attack Jin Wu, but he summoned Kim Chul's soul to rise. It was surprising because this shadow was even bigger than the original. Jin Wu named it Iron then that Hayaki told Jin Wu that only that one guy can stop him. But Iron now used the taunting cry skill, causing the other guy to be provoked, so he changed direction to attack Iron. He used extremely high speed to attack Iron's back but was ambushed by Igris. Jin Wu said, if all three of us attack, can you dodge? Han Song, I stood aside. Ask He Jin if all hunters fight like this. She said in fear. If that was true, she would never be granted a license. She had never seen or heard of this scene. The three attacked that Hayaki goblin and in the end, Jin Wu managed to damage him, but it was not a fatal wound. The Hayaki cursed at Jin Wu and the others. He stepped back to the distance and said that he couldn't say that. Look around and see. He got angry and yelled, You bastard, these guys will disappear when I deal with you. Jin Wu threw the weapon at that guy. He was proud for a moment then realized the knife was accelerating past one of his hands. Iron suddenly grabbed a person named Hayaki from behind. The mages used a pillar of fire that burned iron black. That goblin's clothes weren't intact either. He was so angry that he screamed and made iron disappear. But before he could scream, the invisible Jin Wu stabbed him with a knife. He calmly held Jin Wu's hand and continued. Who do you think you're facing? Unexpectedly, Iron recovered and slashed Hayaki, causing his heart to stop beating. This is the end of him when he talks too much. The system announces that the dungeon boss has been defeated and you have been leveled up. After the battle ended, the idiot Iron still wanted to continue fighting and almost slashed Jin Wu. Seeing this action makes Jin Wu worry about his future. Iron looked at an Igris helplessly, then turned to look at the knights and soldiers and celebrated their victory with the two of them. After everything was over, Jin Wu told everyone to go back. The gates began to open, and everyone was finally able to return home safely. Outside, everyone was worried. Three hours had passed, but there was still no movement. The manager told the president to go back and rest, but he refused because his people were still inside. Suddenly, there was movement from inside the gate. It gradually opened, and suddenly the person who defeated the boss was not Kim Chul that the president expected. Hunter Park Hee Jin Hunters Myung Wan and Yun Ki Jun, Jin Wu and Song Ai. Just as the manager thought, the gate finally disappeared. T people asked what happened to Kim Chol. People can't believe these are all survivors. He Jin confirms it's just them. The guild leader was also surprised because there were only low rank hunters left alive, without a single rank other than a B rank. Jin Wu here was about to take Song Ai back home. But President Bok stopped him and wanted to talk to Jin Wu for a bit. Jin Wu waved his hand to show that he was very tired. If he wanted, he could go ask his guild members. The guild master grabbed Jin Wu's shoulder and said, This is not a request. I am Bok Yun Ho, the leader of the White Tiger Guild. This is either an order or a threat. We lost nine guild members due to this incident. As the guild master, I also have the right to ask a few questions, right? Jin Wu glanced at him and said, So what? I saved the rest. If you're the owner, you should thank me first. Hearing these words, Bak Yun Ho couldn't say anything anymore but could only apologize and let them leave. After Jin Wu left, President Bak asked He Jin who he was and why did he look so upset. She said she didn't know. She only knew that after defeating the boss, he shouted something loudly three times in front of the boss's body. 
but when the manager heard this, he was afraid that too much information would be revealed, so he interrupted, apologizing to the guilt master. It's probably because he's so tired, but he's actually not a bad person. Back said it, it didn't matter why he hadn't recruited him to the guild yet. He turned away and thought to himself that an E rank is confident enough to face an S rank like him. I should probably prepare myself to lose an arm if I fight him. The guild master then asked to invite Jin Wu to join the guild immediately and then left. The manager said he would try his best. Bak Yun Ho will support him 100% at all costs to bring him to our guild. In the car, Jin Wu felt quite uncomfortable when he summoned a soul three times without success, wasting such a strong boss. But fortunately, there was still a trophy left, which was Baruka's knife. After bringing Som Ao, he did not forget to praise her for doing a good job. Han Song, I say goodbye to Jin, Jin Wu and return home. Before that, she called, Appa, thank you for today, see you again, Tai. Jin Wu looked at the time and realized it was already past midnight. Mai started going to the dungeon again with Jin Ho. That morning, Jin Ho enthusiastically stood in front of Jin Wu's house to pick him up to go to dungeon, making Jin Wu a bit surprised because he was planning to pick up Jin Ho. Jin Wu said in the car to go pick up another person. In the car, Jin Wu called Son, I to come down and I'll give her a ride. Hearing this, Jin Ho immediately asked Song, I if she was on the team. Jin Wu replied, that's right. Jin Ho's words were a bit surprising. He knew her number and talked quite intimately. Could Han Song, I and him have a relationship? After arriving at Han Song, I's house, Jin Ho asked if she needed to call her sister-in-law in the future. Hearing that, Jin Wu quickly explained, she is just his sister's friend. Han Song, I's appearance made Jin Wu a bit shocked because she dressed more like a girl, completely different from her usual style. In the car, Jin Wu asked Song, I if he could sleep last night. She happily replied, I can't sleep. Jin Wu replied, you must be very tired and rest in the car. The two asked about each other, making Jin Ho surprised. What makes me unable to sleep at night? Tired, come home at 4 o'clock a.m. Jin Ho in front said, brother, Han Song, I is not yet 18 years old. At this point, he was also helpless because Jin Wu was inherently abnormal. I shouldn't judge him according to my standards. They happily cheered and prepared for a day of clearing the dungeon. Inside a certain dungeon, Jin Ho was a bit surprised by Jin Wu's new skill. He didn't even know what use he had in coming here when even the picking up of crystals was done by soldiers. Jin Wu observed the situation like this and it would probably be finished tomorrow and the next day as promised. Jin Wu has finished clearing 19 dungeons for Jin Ho. In the eastern United States inside in a rank gate, a hunter feels fear when his entire vanguard is destroyed by a humanoid monster. They hadn't seen any monsters in the dungeon. At that time, he felt something a bit strange, but he didn't expect a monster like this to appear in the boss room. The magic pouring out from a monster made this dungeon equivalent to an rank. Impossible, so how strong is this monster? James was scared and told that guy not to come close to him. He replied, don't worry, I didn't kill them. I just fainted temporarily. Why did you suddenly attack me? I'm not a monster. I'm human. But his words completely Hunter James didn't understand because this is America, not Korea. The man said he was Korean and he wanted to go home. At a restaurant, Jin Ho said, so the 20 dungeons are over. He apologized to Jin Wu for wanting to take him to a more luxurious place. But Jin Wu expressed that he was just worried that the taste here was not suitable for the owner of a top corporation. Jin Wu asked Jin Ho what he wanted to do from now on. Because the dungeon quest is finished. He said that he would get the guild master license after completing some paperwork at the guild. Then I'll go talk to dad with that permit. Jin Wu thought it was really great to receive a building worth 30 billion, but that was just a bonus. The main goal is still leveling up. Now that the goal has been completed, there is no reason to bother any longer. Jin Ho asked Jin Wu what he planned to do from now on. He looked at the key in his hand and said I would temporarily stay away for a while. I have somewhere to go. Jin coughed while drinking and said if I bother you, please say so so I won't bother Jin Wu again. Jin Wu here thought the boy must have misunderstood him. Jin Wu asked Jin what he meant to him. Jin coughed and said he had a brother who was 10 years older than him but he didn't like him very much so they didn't see each other much. 
and Jin Wu is the one who saved his life and even helped him. To Jin Ho, Jin Wu is like a real brother. After hearing this, Jin Wu was a bit surprised. His heart seemed warm. If Jin Ho thought of him like that, he himself would see Jin Ho as a younger brother. Listen to this. Jin Ho's tears flowed out uncontrollably. He sobbed and wanted to hug Jin Wu. He intended to stop him, but because he was drunk, Jin Ho rushed towards Jin Wu and cried. While chatting with Jin Ho for a while, suddenly the TV station reported on a terrible accident that happened while training new recruits. Reporters kept questioning President Bak Yun Ho. He said, I have investigated the truth as everyone said. The incident happened but no outside people were involved. Having said that, the president quickly ended the press conference. At the White Tiger office, Bak kept cursing the journalists, a group of people with a clear sense of smell. Then a call came in from someone named Biong Gu. He asked why Bak turned off his phone. The president explained that he intended to hide until the journalists quieted down. Biong Gu said, looking at Bak on screen is so cool. Bak told him to stop joking around because he wasn't interested. Biong Gu said not to worry because it will subside. Here's the big news. Japan secretly contacted the Korean Hunter Association about a week ago after doing its own inspection. Things are much more serious than he thought. This story will soon spread throughout Korea. Bak was a bit surprised because they asked to interview hunters who had experienced the Jeju Island dungeon incident. At this moment, Bak was really serious and asked Byong Gu to tell him more clearly. He said the s rank gate opened on Jeju Island four years ago. After three failed raids, the government gave up trying to save Jeju Island. After all, after four years, it's still filled with a bunch of ant monsters. For that reason, he and Bach are both people who have experienced catastrophic events. Bach also admitted it was a nightmare. Beyond Gu thought there was an unexpected turn of events. Bach doesn't understand what it is because they are stuck on the island, and if you don't pay attention to them, it won't matter. Bilongu says they can leave the island by flying over the ocean. A winged ant has been discovered on the coast of Japan. Those bastards have evolved at an incredibly fast rate. At Jin Wu's house, Jin Ha said he's been going out a lot lately and now he's going away again. Jin Wu said he would be gone for about a week. Hearing that, she immediately asked who he was going out with. Maybe my appa has someone special. Jin Wu now used the key to return to the dungeon. When I defeated Kerberos, it was at least 20 levels higher than me. Jin Wu's level is now three times higher, so there won't be any difficulty. Upon entering the first gate of the Demon Castle, Jin Wu's unexpected task was to collect demon souls, requiring 10,000 souls. Jin Wu exclaimed, It's been a long time since I received a mission like this, and the reward is quite generous. Jin Wu receives additional stat points and can also choose items of his choice from the store slash. There are items worth more than 10 billion gold. If you complete this mission, you will be able to immediately own them. Of course, great rewards always come with sky-high difficulty. Jin Wu didn't find any monsters, but suddenly he realized it was a dungeon simulating the environment. He didn't expect there to be this type of dungeon because it simulates the entire soul looking at the ruined city. Jin Wu contemplated the mission of collecting 10,000 demon souls, meaning there were at least 10,000 demons in this castle. Jin Wu used the excuse of going away like would a week be enough. Jin Wu then tossed his backpack and got to work. He continued to attack the monsters fiercely, killing three low-class demons in one go. It's too convenient to hunt bosses and do quests while leveling up. This is a race against time. At a restaurant, President Yu is sitting and talking to his second son Jin Ho about running the guild Yu Jin. Jin Ho seriously confirmed it. He took a look at the guild master license and dungeon leaderboard. Jin Ho was a bit surprised about choosing himself and his brother. He continued, as you know inviting outsiders to become guild master is too risky. When he heard this, he immediately told him to stop and wanted him to meet someone. He is Hunter Myung Wan and a survivor of the White Tiger Guild's Red Gate incident that happened recently. Jin Ho was a bit surprised that the survivor who had been hiding from the media was here. The chairman told him to tell Jin Ho who was with him that day. Myung Wan said there was a female hunter in high school and he was Sung Jin Woo. Hearing this news, Jin Ho was a bit surprised and asked who that female hunter was. He said the girl's name was Han Song. I add it was thanks to Sam Jin Wu that they all survived. 
Hearing this, Jin Ho also understood why the other two were so close. After listening to the other hunter's story, Jin Ho thought that now not only he knew clearly about Jin Wu's ability, but also everyone else. Mr. Myung Hwan said that they did not let me reveal anything about Song Jin Wu. He also understood very well the decision of the White Tiger Guild, and then he received a call from the chairman. The president told him that it was okay to say this. He turned to look at Jin Ho. You know I've been looking for information about capable hunters. I was forced to investigate the gate incident when I heard that someone outside the White Tiger Guild involved me in it, but I didn't expect to find that name in Jin Ho's dungeon membership list. He continued to say that thanks to worker Song Jin Wu, I have a license, you know that well. Jin Ho admitted it. He thought to himself, what's the difference between my brother and me when we both receive help from outside? Dad had no intention of choosing me from the beginning. He gently asked Si Jin Ho if there was anything else he wanted to say. Jin Ho was silent for a while then asked his father if he would give Yu Jin Guild to me. He thought he would refuse, but then he agreed to hand over the Jin Ho Guild, making him a bit surprised. He says Jin Ho said, letting an outsider become a guild master is too risky. So why should he take the risk when Jin Ho is here? He said that he had tried to deceive him but he said that this was a stupid assertion in the middle of negotiations. Worker Song Jin Wu, can you drag this person back to Guild Yu Jin? He looked at him with determined eyes. He will definitely try his best. He thought to himself, there are two rank hunters I try to reach out for Yu Jin Guild. Cha Haiyan from the Hunters Guild and Min Byongu, who is retired. Cha Haiyan is limited to the vice master position under Choi Jong and who is known as the ultimate weapon. Compared to that, there's merit in becoming Yu Jin Guild's master with financial backing. I use that as a condition. Meanwhile, Min Byomgu has a healthy body and can still be a skilled hunter. He chose to retire after three failed attempts in Jeju Island, but an ant carcass was discovered on the coast of Japan. If the fourth Jeju Island attack team is formed, I can attract him to the guild. Will I be able to lure the two of them back first, or will I be able to recruit the hunter Sum Jin Wu faster? This is going to be fun. Jin Ho. After clearing all the monsters on the first floor, Jin Wu thought for a while about the fact that if he wanted to level up, he needed to go through nine seed rank dungeons. But he couldn't level up in four hours here. As the level increases, the amount of experience also increases. In other words, the next steps become more and more difficult. When he met Bak Yun Ho, Jin Wu's level was about S rank. To get stronger, he couldn't just step forward slowly. Holding the travel document in Jin Wu's hand, he looked towards the magic circle in front of him, which was the path to the first floor. I Jin Wu summoned his ice bear minion to facilitate movement. Suddenly, a giant ice bear appeared like a tank. Jin Wu climbed on the bear's body and in front there were several big monsters trying to block their way. The ice bear leader was not afraid but also rushed forward bravely like a tank. It can sweep and destroy everything it has passed through. They finally reached the magic circle on the other side of the tower. In Washington, USA, high-ranking leaders are questioning mysterious people from the outside. After questioning, it was learned that he was a Korean hunter. He wondered how a Korean hunter entered the dungeon over there and then appeared here. The staff explained that he said he was stuck in the dungeon for 10 years and that when we found him, he opened his eyes. This is an unprecedented incident. Not only did he go out to the array gate alone, but the raid force was also powerless against him. He looked serious and said, why don't you guys collect more information? They suspect he is a monster with human memories. Without any s rank hunter, Washington Capital could be in danger. After checking with the scavenger guild, there's one s rank hunter in Washington that is fluent in Korean. When talking about hunter in Korean, he immediately recognized Mr. Huang. The employee said that he had just finished some business in Korea and was on his way back. The interrogation will continue tomorrow. On the other side, Wang Dong Su is walking somewhere with an angry look on his face. It seemed like he couldn't beat Jin Wu because he was stuck in the red gate, so he was a bit bitter. The leader asked the employee about this person's name. He replied that Song Il Wan was a hunter from Korea. See changes back inside the Devil's Tower. Jin Wu is continuously defeating bosses to climb the tower. Pass holder monsters appear randomly on each floor and you can only advance to the next floor with the pass. This tower has 100 floors and each floor is a different world. 
As time passed, Jin Wu climbed the tower at a terrifying speed. The ruler's hand skill is also significantly increased. The difficulty of high-level devils can even increase exponentially like the difference between a rank and S rank hunters. The problem is that if it really has 100 floors, reaching the last floor in a week is impossible. The first time Jin Wu obtained the Demon Castle Key, he was worried that this was an s rank dungeon. But that worry disappeared through boring battles. Then from the next level up to 47, 48, 49, then 50, Jin Wu collected 2,561 Demon Souls. On this floor, Jin Wu fights a demon named the Ruler of Lower Floors, a ferocious Vulcan. Then there are Vulcan's bloody juniors. Jin Wu looked a bit cheeky so he would probably lecture him once. Jin Wu summoned magicians to gather their power to attack them. Then summon Iron and Egress to quickly sweep the boss together. The juniors started to look aggressive. Jin Wu used invisibility to stand and observe the situation. Even if those guards are high-ranked demons, I've been constantly raising the levels of my shadow soldiers. Shadow soldiers are strengthened from my intelligence stat. Not to mention, the number of shadows I can save also increases. I have enough mana for regeneration after increasing my intelligence stat by a lot. That boy still refused to take action. Jin Wu intended to go to deal with him, but suddenly he flashed towards Jin Wu's quickly soldiers, making him a bit surprised. Hack speed. A mace swung down and all the soldiers disappeared. Jin Wu angrily rushed down from above to give the leader a painful blow to the brain for daring to touch his subordinates. The monster flew away several kilometers away. Jin Wu is a bit out of control, but that's right, because he always adds stat points to strength. He's very strong. The monster after that punch used the rage skill. The state of rage is maintained permanently. All indexes increase by 50%. This skill is similar to Kerbero's skill. The Vulcan will not feel pain, it becomes faster. Jin Wu couldn't dodge, so this was definitely a direct hit. Seeing the urgent situation, Iron threw his shield to Jin Wu. He caught it and then blocked the attack from the Vulcan with his strength and shield. Jin Wu could be completely invulnerable, but he needed to find a way to counterattack. For the next attack, you need to focus on capturing its movements. Right when the boss had an opening, Jin Wu rushed forward, but it seemed like he missed the beat. It's very difficult to dodge in the air like this. In an emergency, Jin Wu remembered the ruler's hand skill, so he used it. Even though he couldn't push it down, Jin Wu could still use this skill as a counterattack. With a knife, the only place that can hurt is the Vulcan's head, but it would be extremely dangerous if aimed at the head. It was very easy to move in the air, so Jin Wu needed to lock its movements to create an opportunity that it couldn't dodge. Looking around, Jin Wu saw a building about to collapse and immediately thought of a way. He lured it. As he approached the house, the monster rushed towards him at breakneck speed. Jin Wu took the opportunity to use Sprint to step on the building from above to suddenly attack the Vulcan, making it unable to dodge because it was moving at high speed. The slash swung down and the monster screamed in pain. Scene change at Jin Wu's residence. Manager On along with He Jin are looking for Jin Wu. They were told that Jin Wu had been traveling with friends for about a week. His manager asked her how she knew this. She said she still kept in touch with Han Song, I, the girl who was with Sung Jin Wu that day. She asked her because she was quite close to Hunter Sung Jin Wu's younger sister. They went to Jin Wu's house, but it was all in vain. The manager felt something was a bit strange. There was no information indicating that Jin Wu had left Korea, and there was also no record of him withdrawing money or using his card from the bank. He Jin was a bit surprised after hearing that. Manager and said his job is to keep an eye on the hunters. More importantly, according to the association's tracking records, where he was last recorded in the middle of the city five days ago, he asked He Jin, is it very mysterious? He Jin innocently asked the manager if Jin Wu had been kidnapped. He replied, how could that be if you wanted to kidnap hunter Jin Wu, you would need a force the size of China's special forces with luck. Park He Jin should be the one who knows best. Until now, Manager and still doesn't know where Jin Wu is in this world. After defeating the boss, as expected, the items dropped from the boss level are really good. Constantly items include Monarch's earrings, Avaris's orb, and Vulcan's horn. These were all highly magical items, but Jin Wu couldn't use them all, so he wouldn't throw them away without knowing what effect they had. Could probably use it for something. 
Earrings are cumulative equipment, so if Jinmu needs to farm monsters to get the full set, in the end, this magic gem has great magic effects, but Jin Wu can't use it. He has no magic skills, so he sadly puts it away. Jin Wu thinks for a while. Tell Ligris to stop his actions. He gave the magic gem to a high-ranking magician and then ordered it to shoot in a building ahead. The fire created from a small ball turned into a super huge thing with a bang and the building in front collapsed. The magician returned the orb. Jin Wu looked at it and exclaimed, That's terrible. I didn't notice that the description didn't say that I couldn't give it to anyone else. This would make the magicians go crazy. Inside the hunter headquarters in Washington, Wang Dong Su said that an interesting incident could happen when he arrived in Washington. It's interesting that a monster speaks human language and is also a demon of Korean origin. Mr. Wan said that he is not a monster. If in doubt, he can test his DNA.